Okay, Fusion 17th birthday party. We're up in the VIP, and I am with what can only be known. 17? 17 years. Somebody thought. No. Somebody, somebody told me it was 12. No, 17 years of Fusion. 17 old buggers. And this is Scott Brown. Yeah. <laughs> the legend I'm almost, that is. I'm almost as old, but not quite do, there. Do you remember Fusion from right back in the beginning? I do not, actually. Um, I was very much not part of the English scene. Uh, people down here didn't like me. <laughs> uh, they probably still do not like me very much. But uh, no, no, I was I was very much part of the resurrection and uh, you know source events in Scotland, which you might not know about. So it was much, much late, maybe post 2000 that I, I began to know about fusion and began to start playing down here. I was going to say, how long have you actually been doing this now? Uh, too long, early 90s, 91, 92, something like that. Long time. Tell us uh, something about what you're up to at the moment, what's coming up for you, what's big. I uh, heard you mention earlier, just back from Arizona, what was that about? Well, I was DJing in Arizona last week. Um, I literally got back two days ago. Um, I don't know whether to say the date on this because uh, you can cut it out, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> what date is it? it, it it's, <laughs> it's now Saturday morning. Yeah, on the, on the on the eighth of March. So two days, three days ago, and uh, my my mind clock's just all over the place. But this is what happens. I've just been in Arizona. I'm going to Australia in two days, and I don't know whether to stay awake, to go to sleep, or just keep partying like a motherfucker. Do you, do you get that though with the whole jet lag thing? Because obviously you're travelling quite a lot, aren't you? Oh yeah, I travel. I travel a lot. I mean, I, I do it to myself. It's my own fault. I'm, and I'm always saying, why do I do this? But the thing is, it's not just about these guys out here. There's guys all around the world who, who love the music. I mean, people don't realize that they're like, uh, you know, you've got Australia, you've got Canada, you've got USA, Italy, Spain, Holland, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, so on and so on. And you have to keep everyone happy, you know. And, and if you get requests for gigs, you've got to do them, you know. I can't always play the same hamster wheel, if you like, of gigs. So sometimes people say, where have you been? Where have you been? That's where I've been. I've just been doing my job. How, how does the scene differ, though, from country to country? Yeah, very different. Um, America, ten, America and Canada both tend to take a lot of ideas from uh, the UK, except they got a lot of candy. They wear all this, um, beads. you know, like the beads. Yeah, the beads. Is cuddle cuddle. <laughs> Thank you, producer. I'll have some of that. Yeah, cuddle puddles, and, and they just no gouch out. Mrr. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a good uh, definition, actually. Definition of cuddle puddle. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, Australia copies the UK quite a lot, whereas like Central Europe, like uh, Holland, Germany, uh, all those countries, Switzerland, Austria, it's very hard, very Dutch, very industrial. If you played this kind of stuff over there, they would hate it. You just couldn't do it, you know? The scene, it's the same kind of thing, you know, like this. We, we'll play in clubs like this, where you'll have 500, 1,000, 2,000 people, up, right up to like 20, 30,000 people in one day in one, one venue. It's incredible. And uh, in, in special occasions, um, I've done one in the uh, Brabant Hall, I think it was called, in Den Bosch. There's a big name for you. <laughs> it was, uh, it was uh, the Prophet, DJ Neil fight, and uh, some other guy. <laughs> But basically they DJed the whole night but what they did was invite their friends and I went over to DJ for like an hour amongst the whole thing but he had to DJ for eight eight solid hours um, man he had so many records, CDs, everything and what would happen, we'd do like a tag team thing we'd come in, we'd just play, we'd go and then it would be the next DJ What's the longest set you've ever played? Um, three, three and a half hours I think I've done one in Sydney no, no, Sydney, sorry, Perth in Australia. Um, it was three hours. I done one in uh, Brescia in Italy where the other DJ just didn't show up. And that, that was like three, half, four and a half, four, four and a half, four and a half, four and a half hours or so. Um, that was difficult, very difficult because I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting to play for one hour and I had to play for however long. And people kept giving me drinks. And when you drink, you have to urinate. Of course. How did you get around that? Um, yeah, I did it. I did it. Let's just <laughs> let's leave it to the viewer's imagination. 
you played two sets tonight, didn't you, in two different rooms? How, how was that for you? Which one did you prefer, personally? Uh, both, were, both were crazy. The second set, the hard set, was much less people, but they were more intense than in... I don't mean to say these guys weren't intense, but the second set, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they, were, they were trying to steal things. I think they were trying to rip clothes off me. It's good. It's a bit, it's a bit animal. Oh, it was very animal. It was very monster. Very monster like I am legend. Is that, is that your preference? Are you the, the faster and the harder the better? Um, uh, did I say that? We're talking about music. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, every, every gig's got its own special qualities and I couldn't say one's better than the other. Some, you know, you could play the, play the best gig of your life and the next week you play something even better, so you can't say, you know. And it could, one could be very uh, vocally, piano, whatever, trance orientated. The other one could be... You, can, you just can't compare, you know. Talking of time, we're going to let you get on because we know we got to press yeah, on. Thank you very much for joining us. Celebrate. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thanks very much. Scott Brown, Fusion 17 birthday bash. We're going to let this man get on, but right now... Happy birthday, but right now... Not me. <laughs> it's back to me. <laughs> As we go over... I can actually see myself in the... Uh, That's quite... Uh, yeah, so you can. Check that out. Oh.